Welcome to Colin Does Stuff. In today's episode, we're going to be chopping a bunch of wood. Before we can do that though, I've got an axe that needs a bit of work. It was pretty dull, pretty rusty. So I'm just going to use a file and put a new edge on both sides. I realize now as I'm recording the voiceover to this video that my sharpening technique is probably not the best of the best. But that's okay, you can watch another video on the internet that teaches you how to sharpen an axe blade. But basically, um, you want to get it in a position where you can kind of put a lot of force into it with the file. And for me, that was just stepping on it on this round here. But if you have a vise, that could be really useful for clamping it. But it helped. I got a new edge on both sides, and it's going to make splitting a little easier. We get a lot of deer here on uh, the island. It's a nice one by the wood pile. I'm about to go over there and, uh, oh, there's Nala. Exciting. This is quality content. Good dog, Nala. All right, hopefully you can hear me and this is focused on my face. Um, I'm gonna be chopping up some of these rounds, splitting them, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Uh, there are definitely many ways you can split wood, and this way is probably not the best way. I've only got just like a regular axe, which is not ideal. Um, for splitting wood, you can get like a hydraulic splitter that goes on the ground, and you just put the round on it and you press a button, takes a big blade, bzzz, splits it. Hydraulic power, super easy. I don't have one of those. There's also like dedicated Different, type of, different types of axes called mauls, I think. And they have like a really heavy, uh, really heavy head that doesn't need to be super sharp, but it's really heavy, it's wider, and like, it's just the force of you going down, hitting the round, and when you go with the grain, it'll split. I don't have one of those, I'm just gonna use an axe. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I've got my round that we use is like the base. You don't want to chop directly on the ground if you can avoid it because there's rocks maybe and you don't want to dull the blade and it's a nice height. I, I could be wearing safety goggles or steel toe boots or many other safety items. Do that if you would like to. Can't, can't hurt. Um, Alright so these are pretty big and you can see these are where the branches were cut off and that means there's like a knot in the wood and knots are generally kind of hard to split the branch used to go like that so the direction of the wood the grain is different at this point if i cut down like this there's kind of these lines you go with the grain it uh it kind of works generally um, and then when you hit a knot, you go against the grain, which is very difficult to split. Like, if I tried to chop this thing in half like this, there's, n there's no chance. But, like this, there, there is a chance. I might actually start with this one. I'm probably going to start by trying to take off one side. See how that goes. Okay, it took off a little bit less than I would have liked to. Rotate it a bit, try and take off a little bit more. Pretty good. Um, you see we got a knot here. Try and, try and, try and get that off. Mm, see, it's tough. Tough with the knot right there. Mm.
Almost there. Nice. Good, good split. That's what we like. Getting closer to firewood size. All right, we'll see if this focuses. It did not. But here, this is the grain of the wood. It's just lines. And when you cut along, along the line, it splits really easily. But if you cut against the grain, no chance. Just watch. Here, I'll just, for demonstration purposes, go against the grain, which won't work. Just like very strong against the grain. If I go with the grain, it'll probably split. So it did it did split, but we have our knot right here. So that's why it stopped, but you'll see. It splits it with the grain. A basic strategy for cutting up a big round like this is to take the edges off first and make it from a circle into a square or a hexagon or some shape that has hard edges and then when, once I've got the sides off and you've just taken more material off I find that you can split the middle a lot easier. That's a knot. So here I'm doing the same thing as I just described. I'll take a swing, cut a side off, rotate it, take another swing and I find if I go in between kind of where the knots are you can, you can take the sides off. Sometimes they're not as big of chunks as you might like, but when you're just working with an ax like this, it's, it's a way to split up these bigger rounds. So once you've got your, your round, as they call it, uh, split up into decent sized pieces of wood, you may want to make smaller kindling, and it's just more of the same, but probably easier. So this one, it's only got one knot here. Um, I think it should split pretty easily. Just like go with the grain, right in half. Um, in case you're interested, the way I hold the the axe is right. I'm right-handed. Um, putting my right hand at the very bottom, and as I swing down, my left hand meets it at the bottom on top, just like that. You don't. It doesn't usually require a lot of force. Just hit it where you want to and split it. And then if you're doing like super fine stuff, um, I wouldn't consider this super fine, but like if I wanted to split this up, you can grab the grab the ax right up towards the head. You have a little more control, I guess, and you can like get it started and then just whack, use the weight of the wood, push down if you want to make little pieces of kindling. Just be wary of your other hand, I guess. Or you can, yeah, just like that. And then you may have seen me doing the other thing. Once you've got it going, just like, woo! Not like that. Just split it. Splitting wood. So all of this has come from was it two or three? Got another one over there. And then all of that down there. So basically, uh, we will have a good amount of firewood for the winter. Thanks for watching this episode of Colin Does Stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't. Either way, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.